Welcome to using the Revit API with a dictionary. A dictionary is a collection of key and a value. The key has to be unique and the value can be any one of the um, items that you'd like and so can the key. Um, to start out you begin by having a dictionary with the key which will make it an integer. The uh, string value will be our value that we will bring in um, and for something simplistic to um, add to our collection we'll just add the walls. Now from a previous video we generated this get walls method. Um, we'll put the document in there uh, as a refresher. Here, here's the get walls um, and it'll just loop through the list element collector and collect all the walls and send them back as a wall list. Um, after I have my list of walls I will individually um, iterate over my list um, for each wall in my list. Um, I want to add it to my dictionary. Now this is my um, my key which will use my element ID um, and the value will be the name of the wall. So if we're looking through the collection we want to see if it contains the key and we'll go ahead and make a integer key and I'll already know the element ID but you could easily um, piece together some more code or or put together another way of hunting it but for simplicity we'll just give it a direct hard-coded element ID um, and then I'll return the value from uh, the dictionary and where it finds my uh, key value um, I will return what the value is of, of that dictionary and show it in the task dialog um, and this will be the, the, the dialog um, title and then also what the what it will say in the actual um, dialog itself. I'll say value found by the key and we'll add the value. The next item we will do is um, Get the we'll get the key value uh, by looking at the name of the um, the value. So here we're using a lambda expression. So the dictionary will find the first or the default, and the dictionary gets translated to my x. So the x value now is my dictionary. So x dot value if it equals shear wall which is SW in my project 24 return to me the key so now I've now I've found the element ID I can show this through a task dialog what I do is um, the title is element ID I go ahead and send back the element ID key that I found looking for the shear wall 24 uh, this is the key uh, I found which will be the element ID so the key found by the value. So we can also add lists and this is what makes dictionaries quick and easy to look up, grab um, a host of things uh, and I really enjoy them to build some applications where you need to um, give it a key and then you add a handful of I items um, and you want your that that return to you so that you could iterate through it, find something. Um, so this one is looking for a dictionary. Again, I'm going to use an integer, my element ID, but this time I'm going to add more than one value to it in a list of strings. So the same wall um, that I got back, the list of walls from my project that I um, used earlier. I will use that same list again. Um, 
and I'll iterate over it. So for every wall in my list of walls, um, I want to create an empty list string called wall values. So this right now has um, no items in it, but we'll go ahead and start to populate it with our wall, um, our wall base. So we'll look up the the, um, the we'll look up the parameter. Um, so my wall is abbreviated as a, just a W. So I I will look up the parameter. Base constraint. I'll do a little cleanup here. It looks like I got. Okay, that's. Looks like I put an extra T here, so it's every wall in the list of, of walls. Um, and we can go ahead and um, return this as a string value. So. Now I have a, a, a the the parameter base constraint as a string value. The same I'm going to do for the the top constraint. Um, and, th and this can be you know any any parameter that you like. You can send it back to yourself as a as a string. Um, and we add this to our empty list of wall values. So I'll go ahead and add the wall name. Um, and I'll look for, um, or add the wall um, top, and then I'll add the wall base. So I think in, in the Revit, in the Revit, um, the base is, is first and then the top, so I just, I just put it in the same order. That way, if a user sees it, um, they'll just, well, they won't be confused because I flipped them. Um, and then I will add that entire um, list that is now populated to my dictionary and I'll put the well element ID as an integer value and all the values that are associated to it into my list of dictionaries. Um, and then the very last thing I'll do here is I'll, I'll build a string builder which is just a, a collection of strings um, and I will say that for every integer in the dictionary, and I'll loop over my my um, my dictionary, so I'll iterate through it. Um, so for every key or the keys in my in my dictionary, um, if if the key, and remember the key is the uh, unique value. Um, The key, if 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 the um, if the key equals the hard coded key that I, I inputted earlier, then what it will do is for each one of those um, item values, so they're strings. So the string s in the value or the dictionary list um, value, uh, which is the i that I've found. So if it equals, it'll give me that i. I value um, and inside that that list I will um, append or add to my string builder which is a collection of strings and the slash n is a new a new line um, and then after I've appended it and my string builder has value I will go ahead and show the values uh, in this last task dialog box um, so I'll do the value as a, as a header um, dictionary list and I'll go ahead and drop it into a new a new line and then um, I will do the string builder but I need to add it as a string um, and not as a string builder so I'll, I'll, I'll concatenate it and that that's about as easy as it gets um, I'm sure you guys will find way more elaborate and beautiful programs that you guys can put together uh, but this is just a quick way so now that I've got the, the program kind of put together um, I'll go ahead and compile it and, and uh, launch Revit, um, step through all these um, 
sign in. So I'm just get a simple box here. Um, that way we don't have to iterate and wait for, for it to go over too many walls. Um, so here's here's the walls and I'm looking for this 24 inch wall and it's got an element ID um, that, that I kind of hard coded into it but you can obviously hunt through key or values a lot in, in different ways but um, so I got got my button here and here's the first uh, the first uh, I, I found by the key um, so the key um, the element ID and then the list of parameters that I inputted um, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's, that's that's it. It's just that simple. Um, feel free to ask any questions. If you have comments, please put them in the down below. Thank you.